And welcome back to the Morning Blend. It's time for Ryan J. Reviews. Mm -hmm. Ryan is a nationally syndicated film critic and a proud Milwaukeean. We're really excited to talk about the film festival in just a few moments, but we've got some business to take care of first. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. What's shaking? Not much. I mean, not much sleep after the film festival party last I night. Know. I know. You guys look great on the red it was carpet. A blast. Tiffany we had a lot of said fun. it was super fun. It was amazing. Were you impressed with the event? It was, yes, absolutely incredible. Huge, huge event. So, but let's talk about the movies this week first. Yes. Let's get yes. the business out of the way All so right. we can get I into love the festival. It. And we're going to start with Looper. And this is um, starring Bruce Willis, right? And uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Right. Okay. And I love this movie. This movie you have to get out and see in the theater. It's like as good as Inception, mm. except not as confusing. You I don't didn't like Inception. See, and right? I loved Inception. Loved but that it. was our contention on that movie. Yeah, I loved yeah. it. But you don't have to work as hard during Looper to kind of get what's going on there. It's intelligent and edgy and intense and it's really all about Joseph Gordon-Levitt who plays a younger Bruce Willis who co-stars and Joseph nails Bruce Willis. I mean he just <laughs> has all of his nuances and his voice patterns and he's outstanding. Just a really really great performance. Is it super sci-fi-ish? It's not too sci-fi actually. I mean there's hovercrafts and it takes place in the future and time travel and a little bit of telekinesis but it's not submerging you in a full like Blade Runner type environment so it's it's not too bad. Okay. So it's a see it? Definitely see it. Okay. Yeah. Hotel in Transylvania. Mm -hmm. That's your next right. one. Right. This is great for the whole whole family and uh, Adam Sandler voices Dracula but he's not hmm. doing the normal Adam Sandler shtick which normally is a major turnoff because he gets yeah. his crazy voices yes. and here he's voicing an animated character but he commits to Dracula so it's really really great and I think it's good for adults as well as kids so this is a see it okay. also but save a couple bucks don't see it in 3D it's not that dynamic so see it in 2D if you can. Oh, okay. That's a good recommendation. Mm -hmm. What about Won't Back Down? Is this a must see in theaters? No this is more of a rental because it sort of smacks of desperation for Viola Davis and Maggie Gyllenhaal trying to get Oscar nominations. Oh. It's a little preachy and predictable. It's an underdog story, but nowhere near as good as like the best underdog story of all time for a woman, which is Erin Brockovich. Mm -hmm. You know, so this one's more of a rental. Okay. Are you a fan of Maggie Gyllenhaal in general? I actually like her. I don't think she's gorgeous, but I right. think she's a good actress. Yeah, <laughs> she and I, and I liked her in Batman. The, what was she in? Like, oh, the you second? did? See, I yeah. Didn't, yeah. She. I, I felt like Christopher Nolan didn't get a great actress for Batman to the last one with Anne Hathaway. I thought, True. you know, Kate, Katie Holmes and Maggie. Jill and Hall and the first two weren't that great, but kind of so so she's a good actress. Yeah. Okay, so I want to give your mm -hmm. website so that people can see your full reviews Thank online. You. And what people need to do is visit RyanJReviews.com. That's where you're going to see full reviews. You will also, though, be picking your top ten from the Milwaukee Film Festival, um, which just kicked off. So people can also visit your site to find it because there's so many movies. So many, 225 movies Whoa. from all wow. over the world and from local filmmakers and production crews. It's an incredible mix of films. It was it's hard to narrow just 10, but there's there's a lot to see. So you can get like, you know, show times and tickets and other information. They're going to be playing at the Downer Theater, the Oriental, and at the Fox Bay. And that's all at mkefilm.org, mm -hmm. okay. which is the official And there's site. all different types of films, too, as you kind of mentioned, from all over. Last night we saw a movie that was a great little French film that's going to be remade into an American film. Right, right, that's right. Uh, Vince Vaughn is going to be doing the English language version of it. We saw Starbuck. It's not replaying again at the festival, no. but there's plenty to choose from in every genre, lots of documentaries and shorts and feature lengths. Okay, so um, what about, um, we saw the photo from last night, you guys doing the red carpet event. Mm -hmm. That's when they really kick it off and have kind of like a party. It was um, amazing, it's true. Oh, and here we are with uh, my good friend Melinda Cry, and that's the producer Jack Turner, who's originally from Wisconsin, now living in New York City, and he has a couple films playing in the film festival in, over the next couple weeks, and he is just brilliantly talented. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and he's got some stuff coming out potentially on HBO. Exactly, and, and we also caught up with on the red carpet before the screen screening with uh, Jonathan Jackson, who is the artistic and executive director of the film festival, and I asked him about uh, how he goes about the process of picking the films for the festival. Okay, well let's take a look at that. Our programming philosophy is as a best of film festivals, so the films that we consider and play in the festival are award-winning, critically favorite films that are really you know, doing well at other festivals and we pick the best of the bunch so that the audience here in Milwaukee, they get the best 14 days of cinema they're going to find anywhere in the world. So it's really great. So basically, you know, they go to Sundance and they go to Seattle and Palm Springs and that's where they find the best films from those. And now they're bringing them to the Milwaukee audience. It wouldn't necessarily have the option to see these because many films get limited release in New York and L.A. But the Milwaukee Film Festival is making many of these amazing films available to our local audience. Yeah, it's so much fun and there's so many great movies and everybody needs to go out and see it. I know you've got your top 10 picks on your website. The Milwaukee Film Festival is going on now through October 11th. So you can go 
out for the next, what, what is that, week and a half? Yep. Week and a half, yeah, and you can find out more about all the films that are playing at mkefilm.org as well. Thanks so much for being here, Ryan. Thank you. That was a lot to cover. Always yeah. a pleasure. Wasn't it? <laughs> a lot out. It was great. Thank Thanks. you so much.